forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Well, it's Friday and we're heading into the long holiday weekend and boy, is it beautiful out here in the city of Detroit. Blue skies as we take a live look from our Windsor sky cam and we're sitting at 75 degrees in the city and temperatures will just continue to rise as we head into the afternoon. Your afternoon planner has sunshine still on tap, few clouds mixing in, but we will be topping out in the low 80s this afternoon. Of course, the pools are opening up this weekend. Good pool weather this afternoon and we'll have some windows where it'll be nice throughout the weekend as well. So even though we start off damp and dreary on Saturday morning, the afternoon sunshine reappears. And we're back in the low 80s Sunday. We're pretty much dry throughout a good chunk of the day with some storms that will roll in later on into the evening off and on on Monday. So Monday is not going to be the pick day for a pool day. Exact track 4D right now showing the inclement weather off to the west. And so we will be dealing with thunderstorms moving in west to east coming out of Chicago over Lake Michigan. And that's where we'll be dealing with that throughout the next several hours. And so as we take a closer look at the Storm Prediction Center's severe weather outlook, you can see the bullseye is just west of Chicago with a level three threat, but the marginal risk does expand into portions of lower Michigan. So as we zoom in a little closer from Adrian to Lansing off towards Grand Rapids and Muskegon under that marginal risk, which will eventually shift into our area by tomorrow morning. But this evening, we're staying dry around Metro Detroit. Great grilling weather. So throughout the evening, we'll slide into the upper 70s by 8 o'clock and just dealing with some increasing cloud cover. And so tonight, 63 degrees with the storms arriving just after midnight or so. And then as we look ahead at tracking those showers, I'm going to stop the clock at 1.30 in the morning. And that's where the leading edge of the system starts to move into western Washtenaw, Livingston counties, and we'll overspread our area by the time we get to about 3, 4 a.m. So that's where we have the window of strong to severe storms storms that'll be firing off that pushes east will dry out briefly, but then we get this secondary line that starts to develop by eight, nine o'clock in the morning. So we'll get brushed with another passing shower. Severe threat should be over at that point. And by the lunch hour, we're drying things out. We even peel back the cloud cover going into the afternoon. So we're warming up with some sunshine for the second half of your Saturday. But the marginal risk for severe weather stretches from Sandusky through Romulus and then down through Monroe County as well. Now jumping ahead to Sunday, marginal risk for severe storms along and south of I-69 as we'll have another system coming in from the southwest. So that's a look at the severe risk here close to home. But for the weekend, we'll be sliding through the 70s into the holiday with those off and on rain chances. If you're traveling up north, we'll be in the low 70s and mid 60s into Alpena, a little bit cooler in Rogers City. But what you'll notice as you go up towards Mackinac, the farther north and lower Michigan, we begin to dry out on Monday. We'll be in the low 60s off of Mackinac, but Traverse City a little warmer on either side of 70. And so this will be the next system that we're watching for late Sunday going into Monday and we'll have some spotty chances for your Memorial Day holiday. But I think the worst of it will be late in the evening on Sunday and then spotty chances for Monday. We do cool off after that. A chance for showers Tuesday, but 69 on Wednesday, drying out through Thursday as we get back in the low 70s. I hope you have a wonderful and safe holiday weekend.